Good afternoon. This is Bob Stewart. And this is my story. This is for the class MSLD 521, Leadership Communications from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, 25th of May, 2014. What I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today is the Defense Logistics Agency Maritime Pearl Harbor uh, organization. And our reason for being is to unlock and leverage the power of the supply system to better support our customer. How are we going to do that in the future? Well, we're going to reorganize. We've determined that we don't have our organization aligned properly. We have three core competencies, material management, customer support, and commercial sourcing or contracting. And we're lining up our folks into those areas along with the fourth division of a, of a business office. Now, with that, we'll be able to define our roles and responsibilities to make sure that we've got the right people doing the right jobs at the right time. We will also have written policies and procedures where they don't currently exist, and which allows us to really to improve our processes. And as we work through those processes, we'll be able to build desk guides, which will lead us to better training. And in the end, hopefully, we'll have the right inventory available for our customer at the time when they need it. <clears throat> And what we look like today, well, there's this term we use, it's called as is, where is, that we've been living under for the past four, four plus years. It's not necessarily a good place to be because it's a status quo kind of non-innovative, nothing changes status. And the consequence of that is that we've got very poor training. A lot of our folks don't know everything that they need to do. There are no written processes, no desk guides, our processes and personal, personnel are not necessarily aligned where they need to be aligned, and not all the roles and responsibilities have been completely defined or defined as clearly as they need to be. And finally, this has led us to have poor inventory management control. For example, we have $80 million worth of material on hand, of which about $35 million of that is excess to our needs, and we see something on the order of about $10 million belongs to ships or boats that have already been uh, decommissioned from the Navy entirely. Now, how did we get here? Well, that's an interesting story. The past, you know, the Navy history is, this organization I'm in used to be part of the Fleet Industrial Supply Center some 25, 30 years ago. And as things changed along in the early 90s, the Navy reorganized, they moved them up under the shipyard. And in the early 2000s, they figured that that wasn't necessarily the best place for them to be because they weren't getting as many efficiencies as they'd hoped. So they slid them back over to the Fleet Industrial Supply Center of the Fisk. Then in 2005, Congress passed BRAC legislation, and that led to the development of what's known as the Wind Memo. And the Wind Memo defined the roles and responsibilities between DLA and the Navy and how the DLA would provide support to the naval shipyards of which there's four. So when we look at the DLA history, here's that term again, as is, where is. This basically means that nothing really changed. We continue to use the Navy systems. We did things the Navy's way. We followed the Navy's rules and regulations. In essence, we were only DLA in name. In any other way, we were basically Navy. In 2010, and DLA is when, is when DLA took over the operation of the supply functions in the shipyards and applied the wind memo. In 2012-2013, the DLA director was visiting Pearl Harbor, and he saw the state of inventory and he saw the state of the warehouses, and he wasn't very happy. And he directed that all of the storage and distribution uh, processes be transferred over to the subject matter experts, and that's the DLA distribution center folks in Mechanicsburg, Virginia, and they align that processes under DLA distribution Pearl Harbor. And again, we found ourselves in as is, where is, where nothing was really changing. There's more staying the same. Portions of our organization stripped off and became part of distribution. Those that remained, those, poly, those roles and responsibilities were not clearly defined. So this takes us back to where we want to be in our future state. Our future state brings that alignment under that new organization. It really helps clarify where those roles and responsibilities have been broken. And from that, again, we see our, we'll get our written procedures, we'll get our improved processes, 
our desk guides, better training, and we'll get inventory the way it ought to be. And through all of that, it will allow us to unlock and leverage the power of the supply system to better support our customer.